In the wilds of the Australian Alps, where the landscape stretches endlessly, a battle rages for the survival of some of the country's most iconic species. At the heart of this conflict lies the alpine dingo, a vital apex predator. The 2024 Brumby culling New South Wales officially began in September 2024. This culling program, which is part of an ongoing efforts to control the wild horse population in the Snowy Mountains region, was authorised as part of the state's management strategy to mitigate the environmental damage caused by Brumbies. The cull is focused on removing large numbers of Brumbies from sensitive alpine areas, where their presence has contributed to soil erosion, damage to native vegetation, and negative impacts on local wildlife. The decision to continue with or intensify the cull has sparked significant controversy and debate. Feral horses, introduced in the 1800s, have overrun the alpine region, damaging the fragile ecosystem. Their numbers are now so high that their grazing and trampling threaten native plants, water sources and even the survival of some other species. Right now, Kosciuszko National Park is littered with hundreds of bodies of dead Brumbies. And while I'm not here to debate whether or not you think that Brumby culls should go ahead. I'm here to talk about the effects that the Brumby cull has had on the dingo population. Dingoes are the apex predator of the alpine ecosystem. For thousands of years, they've maintained balance by controlling populations of smaller predators and herbivores. Dingoes are opportunistic hunters. And if there's food that's available that doesn't require hunting, normally they choose that. So right now, the park is full of available food for dingoes. But as a result, we have a generation of pups that haven't needed to hunt. Their food has already been killed for them all around the park. The Brumby Cull in Kosciuszko National Park coincided with the dingo pup breeding season. So what this means is that when a pup gets kicked out of the pack like they do, they won't have the skills or the knowledge on how to hunt. Because of this, I fear they'll venture to the nearby sheep farms and attack people's livestock. Because a sheep is much easier to kill than a kangaroo. The same government agencies that justify the Brumby cull as an effort to protect the environment are simultaneously using 1080 poison to kill the very predators that play a critical role in maintaining that environment. The hypocrisy is staggering. On one hand, they're killing feral horses to protect balance, and on the other, they're using toxic baits to eliminate native dingoes, which have been part of this ecosystem for thousands of years. It's a deeply troubling contradiction. You can't claim to be protecting the environment by killing one invasive species, the Brumby, while simultaneously poisoning another native predator, the dingo. Dingoes are crucial to the health of an ecosystem. By using 1080 poison on dingoes, we're not only jeopardizing their survival, we're also disrupting the entire ecological balance. By removing these apex predators, we're allowing smaller invasive species numbers to boom. Foxes, feral cats and rabbits, which dingoes naturally control, wreak havoc on vulnerable native wildlife, pushing endangered species even further to the brink of extinction. We need to protect dingoes, our native predators, not poison them. It's the only way we can preserve the biodiversity of these unique landscapes. If dingoes were left alone to play their role as the apex predator in Kosciuszko National Park, we'd have a healthier ecosystem. The solution always lies in a more sustainable approach, one that works to manage brumbies and protect dingoes. While I personally don't think that Brumbies belong in Kosciuszko National Park, I also don't think that this is the solution. Now is the time to rethink our approach. To save the alpine dingo and restore the health of these mountains, we need to be mindful of every species and the role it plays. For more information and ways to get involved, visit onthefencefilm.com.au.